Hi, this is Bruce from Safari, and we're going to do a full walkthrough on this upgrade of the Aveco motorhome here, which is a Sunliner Habitat. So uh, come with me while we show you how we got this motorhome into an incredible power source. So this is an Aveco uh, 5170 Hymatic, and it's a Sunliner uh, Habitat model uh, that you can um, see here. This unit came uh, fitted up with a 30 amp DC to DC and a 2000 watt um, inverter and uh, two uh, lead crystal 100 amp hour uh, AGM batteries. And the owners just weren't getting enough power out of it, not even to survive over a weekend. Also, the uh, AC was wired so that the certain GPOs were on the inverter and the others were on uh, input power or site power, which um, is really rather messy. And this equipment was all sitting in this bay here, which made the front of the motorhome here quite heavy. The owners wanted to uh, move the weight distribution to the back and reduce the weight. So this uh, locker is now completely um, free in the front section here. And at the back, at the top up there, we have our solar controller and our 48 to 12 uh, converter. So all we're doing now is putting 12 volt power into the existing uh, DC uh, distribution block here. And we have not in any way disturbed the DC distribution power that's in here. We've just removed um, uh, this, uh, this older technology. Now the newer technology is in the rear locker here. So it's very close to the rear wheel, moving the weight back to the double wheels in the rear. And I'll just step through what we have in here. We've got three, these are 200 amp hours at 12 volts, 50 amp hours at 48 volts. Uh, lithium batteries here, they're pouch cells, they have a five year warranty on them. But the big difference is they're CAN bus enabled and you can see this data cable coming in the top here. Um, there's absolutely no shunts. These batteries report to the Victron system, the state of charge, the voltage, the current, and these batteries actually dictate the whole uh, charge profile in the system. It's because of that that we have a longer warranty life. Without CAN bus control, it's three years warranty. And these are linked together, so because they're 48 volt low current, the size of the power cable is only 25 mil squared, quite small. And then these batteries powering up this um, 3000 watt Molly Plus 2, just an incredible product that you can see down the bottom here. And the replenishment power for these batteries comes from both solar and from this device at the back here. And this device at the back here is what's called a, a buck boost, three kilowatt. And it's taking power from the 12 volt alternator, the standard alternator in this vehicle will do 180 amps of output. Uh, an upgraded alternator will do 250, but the standard one will do 180, which is on this vehicle. This We call this a buck boost device. It's a planar transformer. High frequency transformer is another expression for it. Uh, super technology, and it converts it from 12 to 48, but it's all CAN bus control. This is not for the average auto electrician, but it's automotive grade, five year warranty, uh, probably the highest grade of quality build in the, that, that we supply. And we've got it standing off the back wall there with those heat sinks that you can see. So this is a fiberglass on the back and we've got a fan on the top here that's blowing air into this um, space and blowing it out through a filter that we have in the front here. So that keeps uh, this locker nice and cool. On top of the roof, and we can't show you the front of the roof here, we've added in uh, two Victron 175 watt uh, solar panels giving 350 watts. There was already two 150 watts there so at the moment, it's early in the morning now, and uh, in the middle of the winter, the sun's low, we're getting 184 watts um, out of it. In the Victron display here, this shows you the solar coming in. Um, there's no AC power coming in, AC loads. We've got the fridge running on AC, and uh, you can see the inverter here. This shows the power flow coming in. So some of the 184 watts is going into the AC loads to the fridge, and the rest is coming into the battery, 3.2 amps at um, 50 odd volts coming into the battery. Now this DC power down the bottom here is the power coming in from the alternator. And it's a calculated number based on the balance between all of it. And when the power's really coming in, this number goes really, really high. And that's what we're gonna see in a minute. So we're gonna turn the engine on now and see what we get out of the alternator with that new buck boost. A little bit of tweaking here today on the uh, settings and we're getting we're now getting close to the two kilowatts of power 
and uh, we're running at idle again. You can just hear the vehicle running in the background, I hope. So let's see what else we've got in here. So um, the brains in here, which is really just an incredible Victron product, is this turbo here. And connected to this turbo here, uh, we have the data cables and the CAN bus here on this side, going back down uh, where, the, uh, where the batteries are. And then over here, we've got a small uh, modem. And uh, we provide this. This has got uh, five gigabytes uh, of data left on it, but uh, it can run for a number of days. And that means that this whole system is online in the cloud. And we have a one year service contract on that where we can see everything that's happening in this van remotely and give them any assistance. Back here on this display, if I touch this display and go into the menu here, we've dedicated a smart shunt here to showing what power is coming from the alternator. So you can see here, we're now getting 121 um, amps from the alternator. So this detail display, this Victron detail display here, just um, gives you quite a lot of uh, powerful information. If I touch on history here, uh, we can see what the last charge and discharges are. Um, if we want to do that, we can see all this online, of course, and we can see our time to go here, uh, which at the moment uh, I haven't enabled. So. Uh, back to this display again, and there we are. So we can see we've been idling for a bit now. We're now up to nearly two kilowatts of power there that's coming in. And um, and that's uh, just there in the front, idling away. Uh, this has got the bed that goes up and down, very nicely built by Sunliner. Um, bathroom in the back here. And all these uh, power outlets that we've got in here are now all um, active. We've got the fridge here running in 240 volt mode, but it can also run in 12 volt mode and the microwave here, of course, which is uh, running. So the from the motorhome here on the front, they can actually see this display all on their smartphone as well. So they don't have to open these cupboards up. They can be down and you can see the whole thing on the smartphone. How good's that?